loud. Actually, I wanted, to, I wanted to ask <laughs> you guys, did you just uh, write Team Boodle? The, the movie it, Team Boodle? No. Did you come up with the that team name? Team Boodle. Um, Who did that? Yeah, that was you. That was... That was you. Yeah, it was. I mean, yeah, it was before we got to set. It was, yeah. So it was done in the in the process. Really? Yeah. That's team Boodle. A very funny scene in the in the movie. In fact, I'm. Um, are you guys going to go to the our show at the end of the month? Are you? Ye- what is it? February mm, twenty. Oh, that was almost. A, that oh, was your a, band show. That was yes. amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I thought you had like a Juniper post show where you like edit stuff and then we watch. No, yeah. We, we, are, are you in the band too? Jason? No, no, no. He, oh, he's yeah. a great drummer, though. Okay. That's how we know each other. <laughs> it is. We beat skins. Oh. A long time ago we met when I recorded with my band. Yep. That was a while ago. It was. 2000. Long time. Five. Yeah, I don't even remember Something. now. Are 12, you in retirement? No, no, I just don't play as much. He's raging against the drums. I just don't play as much. I, I podcast I'm 44 a 44 years old. I don't want to drum. I podcast a old. lot. So, <laughs> yeah. 45, really. Just oh, turned yeah. 45. Just turned 45. Yeah. Wait, is it your birthday? Happy birthday. It was two weeks ago. <gasps> what day? Uh, it was on uh, a Tuesday, the 28th. Oh, did you? Uh, what day January of the week 28th. or the, the date? <laughs> well, well, no, no, I am the 21st of January. <laughs> oh, are you? So okay. we are, yeah, Aquarian well, brothers. Right. Yeah. yeah. But birthday how brothers. Old are you? I am 51. Oh, you look Do you great. get along with Tauruses by any chance? <laughs> I, are you a Taurus? <laughs> I yeah. do not. Oh, <laughs> that explains everything. <laughs> but have you Holy ever driven shit. a Taurus? That's the question. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the official start to the podcast mm-hmm. here at Unscripted Narrative, we have Christine and we have John. And uh, Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, and they are married. Yes, they are married. To Today's, each other. Uh, to each other. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. And, yeah, that's uh, a good point. That's but, a good yeah. thing to, to mention. Thank Ew. you. Because <laughs> Michael and I are married as well, but not to each Correct. other. See, there you go. But yeah. not to each other. Yeah. Um, but today's focus really is about uh, the the team and what it takes to have a successful career, but also a successful team. Yes. Right. Marriage, um, parenting, sharing parenting, uh, dropping what you're doing. In fact, I have a story that I witnessed of you two Uh-oh. during oh. during wheels. That I want to bring up because I don't know if you guys know that this happens that you guys do this, but I <laughs> I noticed it. Okay, and it was so incredibly uh, in, uh, incredible to watch. It was do we need to set up what we're talking incredibly about? Incredibly incredible is that? A yeah, bad, that's a very no. That's the wheels, that's double incredible. Yeah. This wheels and what wheels is and how we met. We're going to talk about business. We're, gonna, we're going you, all the way back there. Okay, but okay. you're just going to first jump in with the like what somehow we did I'm going to remember later when okay. we get to that point during okay. like, what final mix. And when we were spent, he keeps notes in his head. It's the weirdest thing. Okay. <laughs> cool. I'm wishful. <laughs> and on your fingers, you keep notes on your fingers. <laughs> I don't so. have to remember that one. I li- <laughs> I lived that one. That one is uh, uh, pretty burnt in there. But anyway, um, so what is the beginning for you guys? Oh wait, were we going to tell the story of what we did that we don't even? I'm not He's saving tell you it. Just, that's I'm a saving, setup for. It, yeah. That's to oh, keep people tuned in. Yes. Yeah, until we get to that point. That's what they call it in the biz. A tease. A tease. Yeah. 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 Foreshadowing. Foresh- oh, foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pulling down your shirt a little bit and showing a little bit of whatever your, your cleavage or, or yeah. lifting up a you know before you show the whole boobs. Yeah. 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 Right. Side <laughs> boobs. It's a tease. Whole boobs. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what that's boob. what most people do. Yeah, just, I'm gonna oh hang on until I get my whole boobs out. <laughs> <laughs> that point in the party, I'm where drinking the boobs that. come out. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, that is funny. So team. Uh, oh, so take the team back to the beginning. Yeah, set, uh, yeah whatever yeah, go came for it. first, the chicken or the egg. Was mm-hmm. it marriage or the uh, the you know the well, actually? Let me jump team. in here, Christina. Yes. But you go by Christine. No, my real name is Christine, but I go by Christina because there was a Christine in the Screen Actors Guild. Yeah, we we did a we IMDb had a little fumbleaya. Yeah, yeah, no, it's down. a big deal. It's a hard. Yeah, the yeah. So you okay. have your own separate. Yeah, I just never changed it because it wasn't that big of a difference. But what I really like is that if I know people, yeah. they know my name is Christine. So they'll call me, like that's just they know. And if they don't, then yeah. I know that I don't know them. Understood. Yeah, we thought we thought <laughs> Michael Understood. was lying. We're like, no, you don't you don't really know her. <laughs> but now you do. Now it's proof you do. But now, now we I have know proof. What the fuck I'm yeah, talking about. Like, no, her name is Christine. Well, we can't find a Christine on IMDb. Yeah, 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 what yeah, are yeah. you talking See? about? See, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So that got handled prior to you guys arriving. That was before we met each other. Yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, we we met as actors only uh, back in the day in 2006, 
I just got a look from my wife mm-hmm. that was like, yeah, you're, yeah. you're the, the very that. first thing I said. <laughs> <laughs> that had any sort of potential factual error, she gave me a face. So I'm going to turn it over now to Christine. <laughs> <laughs> We're in for a good one today. Yeah, no, it was just I, my face was oh actors only. Like we weren't people, or no, just, yeah. I see, just we weren't a right. team, or we weren't right. writers, producers. Individuals we just were coming together, and that's individuals kinda, yeah. who were acting. Right. Mm. That's I, that's what you're saying. Yeah, we weren't hyphenates. Oh, that's right. Because yes. now we're now we're so accomplished. Now we're hyphenated. Yeah. Yeah. Multi hyphenate. We were still doing relatively well as actors only at that point. That's where you could do that. That was a time in mm. Hollywood where you could make money as an actor. Tell me more. And you could pay your bills. <laughs> Leave me, me Obi Wan. Yeah. <laughs> Tell this enchanted tale. <laughs> this, this beautiful yeah. time long ago. Time long ago. Yeah, it was true. It was a time long ago. But that being said, I was still kind of writing on the side, thinking, oh, maybe something will happen with writing. Mm -hmm. Uh, So a lot of scripts and drawers from different projects and ideas and things. And then um, about five years ago, as as all the income streams started to dry up that we were used to, this one over here, I'm pointing to my wife, and I'm not going to look at her so I don't see the face. Yeah, yeah. That way I can just finish my thought without getting shot down. Yeah, I need yeah. my blinders right. so I can still look That's both it. at Jason and Kreppel here. Yeah, right. Um, that she got into the producing gig with this company that we worked with you on our latest movie. Yep. Um, and that was that was kind of the start. It, she had an idea for a movie and then started to work with the writer, a writer on that movie to develop it, and then basically just started co-writing with that guy. So right. she took off first and um, ended up getting a writing credit before I did, which kind of made me a little mad. <laughs> were, you like, guys, I, were you guys already together? So that guy she point? was writing oh, yeah. with, is that him? Yeah, no. So, uh-huh. yeah, we. this story starts in 2006. We Probably. got married in 2008. Okay. And then the this experimenting with multi-hyphenating um, as we began to right. morph yeah. was about 2014, 2015. Okay. Yeah. There's a reason she's a better writer. Mm. Do you hear that? Mm. It's timeline. It was really it timeline. Was, yeah, it was trend. Logic, it was, my God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We can get into yeah, all the <laughs> things she does to make my writing better <laughs> as we go on here today. <laughs> they are many. Um <laughs> Yeah, so we our first run as a team was just as two actors that support each other with acting, mm-hmm. uh, two people who um, are raising a kid together, um, you know, so a house, gardens, raising a house, cars, raising you a know, all that regular shit, just like yeah. all life, the life things, all yeah. the life things that it takes to team up, right? Partner, yeah, divide, conquer, mm-hmm. things like you know. Somebody cleans the house and somebody mows the lawn. Like traditional bullshit, mm-hmm. but that is Yeah. That's kinda how you figure out if you can work well together right. or not. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So she went off and hyphenated herself first. Okay. Uh and became this kind of worked from the ground up in the company again that we keep talking about, which I guess we should call Forest Films. Forest Films. Yes. That's so cool. That is um, a good name. That just tied it all into me because I thought it was uh Ali's company there is an the under ESX. company and there is a so forest films is the umbrella got it and then esx is the production arm I but see. the forest okay. films covers everything right yeah yeah hmm. okay um so she started doing that i started helping as far as like writing and ideas and you know bouncing things off each other mm-hmm. goes yeah and then she got a writing credit on screen and i said for which uh, for which film? Oh, it was called Running Wild, mm-hmm. starring Sharon Stone. Ooh, oh, geez. nice. Risky. Yeah. Risky. Yeah. <laughs> Mental risk. <laughs> Mental, emotional, <laughs> spiritual right. riskiness. Why do you yeah. say why do you say risky? I just I've in the business I've heard many tales mm-hmm. about Mrs. Said Stone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Just, um I would say she's very 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 smart. Um and does not uh, suffer fools, right? And is very vocal about anything that is not pleasing. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I, mean, hey, I think you get what the, you—that's a quality. No, and I think you get. To I her mean, credit, she's been doing it a long time. I mean, you should have a little bit. Your standards should change as you get as you as you move along in the business. Mm-hmm. Don't you think? Oh, I a think so. Bit. I also think you know you get 
you get what you pay for. Like, I for mean, sure. she, her on screen, it's like you don't, she basically just needs to sit there and breathe. Yeah, and yeah. it's like you feel the gravitas, mm-hmm. you feel the, yeah. she was the villain in the movie. It all, it all worked. And we all like lived to tell the tale. Yeah. I think it, um, I mean, it was tough, but, and that was part of it. It was like my first producing gig, my first week as a producer, and I got Sharon Stone. Wow. wow. To <laughs> take me to the mat. <laughs> wow. What so, a test. Yeah. What is that like? Scary as fuck. Yeah, I bet. I but bet. I mean, like it all, it actually all worked out pretty well. I think, you know, it was, I think we both felt good at the end of the week. I think I was tired. Mm-hmm. I think I, you know, it was, I had lost 25 pounds and you know, 10% of right. my brain cells just, <laughs> just stressed out, like just yeah. wanting to do super, super well yeah. and really having no, I, not a big a, like clue of what I was doing. Right. There, no, no experience, just lots of knowledge, lots of understanding, but without that, like experience allows you to pivot really easily That's and a fluidly. Very good point. And very I don't, good point. I didn't have that yet. Yeah. Yeah. So every like every t- twist or turn was really stressful. Right, right. Uh, so explain those twists and turns. As a, you, so you were a producer, but also you wrote it. Mm-hmm. So what kind of twists and turns would throw you, and where and where were they coming from? I mean, from the director, from no, the actors. Okay, so one of the biggest ones was that we had created a schedule. You know, pre, like that was our working schedule, and it was to start out with two characters in a house. Like, get your get your feet under you, get your week going. Production, like, pro, yeah, in production. Yeah. So okay. you just start out small. It's just two characters, lots of talking in interiors, right. easy. And then you build up speed, you build up momentum, you let the crew gel, and then you start throwing in the horses, and you start throwing in, like you know, ten characters in a scene. And when we got Sharon Stone, she was only available for the five days that were the first five days of our production. Wow. And Ooh. on the Friday before starting <clears throat> on Monday, we completely flipped the schedule. Wow. <laughs> so now it is all of her scenes, full court press. A lot of them involved horses. A lot of them involved right. multiple people. It, it involved locations that had not been built yet. So yeah. it was that. It was. See, that's why I think the uh, uh, filmmaking is so crazy because I'm so linear. Like I think you, I th- you think of it step by step by step, and that's not As the way it, you make a what film. Yeah, what you're saying is what you, how this film opens and how it finishes. Is yes. how you shot it. It's, <laughs> it's never it's like never that, that yeah. way yeah. because you're in that location. You got to get all those shots in that location. You're trying to save time, and even as an actor, I imagine that would be really challenging because you're going from one emotion to the next. Uh, without even having done the emotion before that or the scene before that, that should right. that should feed that emotion. It's just to me, it's like, it's, it's that's why you're you're professionals. It's why you do what you do. <laughs> that's, because that's me, I'm good, like, a very how good do you point. do that? Mm-hmm. Well, and, then, and then everybody, a point B, please. That's what I prefer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everybody yeah. has their own process. I mean, I think you, an actor breaks down a scene. I mean, a director does as well, and yeah. so you have your own. I mean, I've seen people come to set with binders that are this big and they're all color tabbed as if you were like a paralegal prepping for court. (laughs) I, you know, I know actors that kind of write their own little buzzwords on things. Mm. I know people who take their script and then put it in shooting order so that you're prepping for the next day. How do you do it? How do Um, you, you guys do it? I'm you sure. can go first. Well, let, let me interject here. Going back to the that hell week that you were yeah. talking about. Mm-hmm. That's good. Hell week. Where, yeah. where were where were you in this whole thing? Were you off doing your own thing? Were I you, was home. He yeah. was mowing was the lawn. Chilling. You were home mowing the lawn, doing the skivvies. <laughs> yeah. We called. The, I was taking care of the Downton. <laughs> Got it. Oh, the Downton Abbey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love yes, because we live yeah. in a castle. Yes. <laughs> don't let us. That's what you Hollywood types do. Yeah, don't let us fool right. you. <laughs> it, yeah, our, our 1,400 square foot house is a castle yeah. Yeah. to it us. Is. It is. <laughs> uh, I think I was there for that first week because I was uh, lucky enough to uh, be sleeping with the producer. So I did. Mm. I had a small part sure. in the movie. So no. I think there I was go. there uh, doing my. So it does um, pay to know people. <laughs> it's uh, to make apparently with, to make yeah. babies. I don't with think you we're, were here <laughs> right now. There's yeah, proof. There's yeah. Yeah. I don't know that you were there. I think you were there the second week. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Anyway, mm. she's got timeline. Mm. I don't know. Well, that's true. I did not meet. <laughs> if you didn't meet Sharon, Sharon that whole first week, there was nothing that Sharon was not in or I was around. Home. Yeah, so taking yeah. care of the down. Yeah. Doing the kid, doing the kid run. Right. School. Right. That's that, that's got to be one of the hardest things to balance, I imagine. 
I want to know all I about mean, that. It's, like, it's, that to me is, I mean, a, I'm married and with kids. I'm and married, no a kids. Far, a farm and <laughs> shit like that. And I live out of, you know, an hour out of town. Right. So I like got to, I got, I know what I got to do, but to do where you guys are gone I don't. Know. I think during the mix, you were gone to like Oklahoma or some shit. I Kentucky. Kentucky. Same. Same. That's right. same. Yeah. That's right. Holy shit. <laughs> no. Man. Same. Yeah. Same. Really. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, folks. Like how that, <laughs> how that. How uh, that. How that. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's just the same. It's the same, same. for you guys. But, same. But yeah, how do you how do you balance that? I mean, look, we we see celebrities. Um, you know, break up and there's very few that last. And I think it's the demand of the schedule. Mm -hmm. I think it's the demand of the job. I'm, I'm guessing, but from you guys, is it, is it, do you find it challenging to remain, uh, you know, in, in a fluid marriage with, with this type of work? If you want to reveal it at all or divulge mm -hmm. any of that information, because I know it's not easy for I any of us. I mean, it's it's a, it's a challenge to to try to maintain a marriage anyway, and to have these weird schedules and being away. I mean, it's probably the same for athletes, you know, professional athletes and stuff like that. Touring musicians, touring musicians, mm -hmm. all of that in the months. arts in general. It's yeah. it's uh, time away. How do you how do you manage that? Stay connected when, with time away. Is it compromise, you guys? Mm. Is it a lot of compromise? They're not saying anything. No, they, we're letting you figure it out. <laughs> yeah, no, this I is was, good because I think, yeah, I think no, you I, guys maybe haven't really thought about it in this sense. It, to, this sense. Like, well, the, other, the thing that I think <laughs> is kind of not mentioned or not exploited is how much fucking free time we have. Mm. Right? Because it's either zero or yeah. hero. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, I would almost say that I would rather be married like this, where, let's just say, like, four months in a row, nobody has to do anything. Like, you're just, right. you're connected, yeah. you're seeing each other. Oh, you're, that's a good point. You're, we, and in those times, we all are oftentimes, like, working on a script, working on a project. Right. We mm. could take our daughter to school in yeah. London and stay for a month. Like, right. that is the kind of luxury we have I would much prefer this than being married to the like banker asshole who's mm -hmm. gone at 4 a.m. every day and has to go to bed at 8 p.m. Right. And, you know, like you won't you have to wait till Christmas yeah. so you can go away for two weeks oh, so you yeah, can actually true. like hang out Bond, and yeah. have a nap. <laughs> you know, like I, that sounds much worse to me. Are you the banker asshole? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I think I'm a little bit of the banker asshole. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not the banker asshole in that. Uh, you don't have to be a you, banker to but, be an asshole. But you couldn't even get John Thanksgiving Ducey, off. John fucking man. You couldn't even get Thanksgiving off to go camping. No, bro. I couldn't. Not this year. Last year I did. Too busy. Yeah. Too wow. busy. Yeah. Dealing with you guys. You, <clears throat> yeah. you people. We were trouble. I know our movie was trouble for my you. My favorite. One of my favorites. Oh, good. Yep. Mine too. Um, I saw, what is uh, your comment? Did you do you believe my comment, or you have a different? You usually have a different perspective. I agree with her. <laughs> I, work, I wait. He'll sleep inside. Can you just play that back over and over for the is rest it, of is the it ringtone? Is it? I agree with you. I have a different perspective, or I agree, I agree with, with her. I agree with her. I agree with her. I need to have somebody call me. <laughs> I, yes, no, I totally agree with her for real. And I, yeah, it is. I would say we have more stress in our relationship about not enough money than too much work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? I mean, there is a balance there. Like, right. it's nice yeah. to, we do have a lot of free time together. And we've had a lot of free time with our kid and, you know, being able to be available for her in her life. And, we're together a lot, so when yeah. someone goes away for three weeks, it's kind of great. You get, get a little bit of a break. <laughs> yeah. All right. See, that's, that's yeah. the honesty I was hoping for. <laughs> like, it is that little Wicked. bit of, like, a respite of, yeah. like, oh, all right, we'll just do my thing, or yeah. if I go away, like, she yeah. Is. yeah, you get a little you bit ever, of a reprieve, a little bit of a break. Do you ever you get a groove that. when either that. one is gone? Like, oh, they're, they're gone, and you get into a groove, like, oh, take... Uh, go to the gym for an hour at this time every day and go get a coffee afterwards and then it when I'm away I've done that where it's like I'm staying in a hotel and I go to the fitness center keep, at try a to keep time every day and all that kind of thing yeah right. but in general no I mean we're, that the, all, the other thing is neither of us has ever had to go away for like seven months like go do a series in New York or right. you know go do a movie in New Zealand mm. right. they really are like three weeks like doing these movies in Petaluma, they can be three to five weeks mm -hmm. top. So it is, 
it's short enough that you don't start to really fall out of like, oh shit, my partner in life is right, is, right, right. Has, is gone. Right. It's like, nope, just I'm on my break. <laughs> gonna mm-hmm. see her by the end of next Wednesday. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. have that, and then she'll be back. And yeah, and I I usually when she goes away for anything over like two weeks, I do a project that we call uh, Christine Away Projects, mm-hmm. <laughs> which is any project where the house has to look worse before it looks better mm, those are great projects so, so she leaves it looks like a shithole she leaves and like i one time i got our storage pod and i just put everything in our garage and then i had two weeks to like store it back up in the ceiling or throw it out or recycle it or donate it like that was the time limit so by just the time she returned no more mess yeah and no more pot right. but but couldn't do it with her there because she would say something along the lines of what the fuck are you doing yeah why, why are you throwing that away yeah or even just why have you filled the i want to park my car in our garage oh, right, right. buddy that's not for your yeah. like 18 bicycles or whatever. <laughs> i don't have 18 bicycles but. There, yeah but you've also done some really like thoughtful really thoughtful like you did refinish the floors which what a cunt of a job. I mean, right. every piece of furniture, right. everything has to be taken. All the curtains have to be taken out. They're all stored on the outdoor <clears throat> patio. Like, mm-hmm. everything's covered in 80 mm, in- inches sucks. of dust. You, like, it smells. You can- It's like, right. to come home and it's just all back in its place and the floors are shot. Like, that doesn't blow. Right. That's <laughs> that was sweet. a nice one. That was that, a good one. Nice. Yeah. Right. Did you think of that? Yeah. I didn't yeah. have anything to do with it. It was like a, su- and he also does, there's surprises. So, you, so you're good at that stuff? I didn't buff them like with my buffer, <laughs> like from the storage pod. <laughs> I didn't come back. I hired somebody to do it, but I, you know, you took, did all the you had the idea to hire yeah. the people to do this and to yeah. Nice yeah, and moved all the stuff out and you know to do that's to do awesome. That part Hiring but, people yeah. to do stuff and like just that. had to live with uh, had to live. With <laughs> <laughs> What's Stop wrong? Putting this thing in my face. <laughs> oh, so teamwork. So teamwork. that's. Yeah, so that's yeah, that's a little that's teamwork. That Just, is teamwork. Yeah, yeah. Me keeping her happy so that my life's not bad. Mm-hmm. So the one that you mm-hmm. guys worked on, um, Wheels of Fortune, yeah. mm-hmm. right? Uh, I, Michael showed me one clip. One clip. Was it, it was the a, uh, massage room scene? <laughs> yes. Oh. Where where you're you're standing in front of yeah. him completely, mm-hmm. and he and he was like, they're mm-hmm. they're married. It's funny, mm-hmm. and it was great. When I, I can't wait to see when it. When Brett mentioned to me that you guys were married, yeah, that scene popped into my head yeah. first. Yeah, because you don't like each other. And, yeah, that was, no, we that enemies. scene to me married. was so well done because at the falling into the shit into the back, yeah. Yeah. and she was such a bitch. She, you're not gonna have any of this, and you're like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, magical moments. Totally. Magical moments. So good. It's really fun. Really yeah, fun. Com- comedy was is brilliant. I can't wait to see it. I haven't seen the whole film, so I can't wait to see it. Uh, uh, what was that work like working on together? And how? And I don't know a lot about that, so maybe you can t- talk about that film a little bit. Did it, what, did you guys write it? Did is there a production, or were you just acting it? That was our probably our deepest investment in any of the you know nine eight movies nine movies that at least one of us has been involved in because mm-hmm. we. Yeah, we developed it from an idea that our boss had to put all these races in a movie. That mm-hmm. was kind of that was what was handed to us. Right. Make a movie with all five of these races. Um, so we developed it together, wrote it, um, and then both acted in it. Um, we both are producers on it. Uh, I was here with Mr. Kreppel during all of post production, sound mix yep. stuff. Uh, did editing with Brett. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, and did you guys like have a big learning curve about the racing world? I mean, yeah, I was going like, to ask. Did, did you, you know anything about it? Well, Forest Films is named after Forest Lucas, who is Lucas the, Oil. is a Lucas, Lucas Oil, Oil billionaire oh, okay. owner. So, um, a handful of movies, like four or so, five maybe, are racing movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had one, and with- you've written. A bunch of them. I've written so, uh, three now. Dirt the... is about um, off-road short course. So those are like the giant flying trucks mm-hmm. that go four stories in the air and right. yeah. biff and flip all <laughs> over. Crazy. Then there's a roundy round, which is like circle track. Like it's the amateur version of NASCAR. Oh, okay. Basically, mm-hmm. like, and you have different, you know, modified and blah, like you can keep Dirt going. or asphalt or both? Asphalt. Oh, okay. Well, it's a- it's dirt on asphalt. It's not. It's dirt. Yeah. yeah. And there's a lot of it's very sh- it's a very tiny circle. So yeah. eighth of a mile. 
quarter yeah. mile. Because yeah. yeah. my, my dad's a racer, yeah. or a, a retired racer. <laughs> yeah. So when wheels came around, I was like tapped in. I, I knew yeah. a lot of that stuff. Um, but uh, he's retired. He used to race sprint cars. Mm, yeah. Crazy Ian. fucking Total, man. yeah, total Now, the sprint cars round. are the ones that got those things yeah, all they, on them. Yeah, they flap. They look, they they have look a little bit like yeah. um, X-Wing fighters. Yes, exactly. They're that's, huge. That's a good, and they're, that's a good example. They're, yeah. they're off. They're yeah, right. It, it's like it's for drag mm-hmm. and all on that. On the outside, you have the high one on the inside, so you have the drag, and then you have yep. the resistance this way. Right. And uh, my dad's first race in his rookie year, the green flag... My mom sent me I'm the scared. video. I put, I darkened the whole picture and like put the white. This is my dad going around the, the <laughs> mm-hmm. thing. He goes, uh, "Green flag, we're green, green, green." And he goes, Meow. and the next time you see my dad, he's toppling over. Yeah, and those o- things and roll. over and <laughs> he's completely unconscious. He's got his foot oh, into the ground. You hear his, you hear the car going. Wah. Oh, and then shit. the motor blows, I think, or something. I can't remember. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. It's scary, <clears throat> scary shit. That's gonna like, be scary. Yeah. yeah. So uh, dirt, then so dirt, and then lady driver is roundy round. Um, I produced one called Bennett's War that was all motocross. Mm. Um, that recently so, came out. Yeah, just mm-hmm. recently came out. So really, the only racing series that we hadn't already done a big deep dive on was Monster Jam. Oh. Monster Jam. Yeah. <laughs> well, and boat, so you had speed to, boat racing. Oh, and we speed boat done racing. Any, and, That's pretty simple. And tractor pull. There were. You, Oh, sorry. Remember all these different things? Oh, see, we I had know, to... you totally. You did. You worked really, really hard. I just assumed yeah. we already knew everything. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, did, you just gave a face. Did you, did... <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not allowed he, to. Get, it's an internal face. It like a slap shot. It's in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Remember all the things I did. Yeah. So we the deep dive is a little strong. Like I do quick look up a couple quick things on the internet and then write the script basically based on that mm-hmm. and then we go from there. Right. Yeah. So how how was it um, to work opposite each other? It was good. We've done a couple of things together in our lives. We played a married couple on Rules of Engagement along the way. And we played... No, I think we've been on shows, but this was the most, for me, this was the most fun Mm -hmm. because we had the most to do together. And I absolutely love hating like it's so fun to (laughs) just be awful because i think we have a we have our own kind of i think in general we get along very well and there's a lot of laughter and it's pretty fun but we do have kind of a running bit of like pretending to be mean because there's that it's we don't have a lot of fights yeah. so it's like you yeah. know i'm gonna go get the laundry good well i, I just had <laughs> to tell I, mean, I it's over mm-hmm. that was it we had a good run <laughs> bye <laughs> like i mean that's a little bit of laundry. just a running kind yeah. of joke in our house so then to get to just play that out right <gasps> so, so much fun, fun. yeah <laughs> that's cool yeah well, she likes to swear a lot too. So and she hasn't. Sw- you, you were you were prepping me. You're like, oh, she she's... did use the c word. Already <laughs> I was going to say, Jason. I'm not sure. That, what more do you want? When that went by, I was like, <laughs> that is the most amazing <laughs> sentence I've heard all week. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even hear it. Yeah, I don't know just, where it I was. Wow. Yeah, just, I don't know where I was. He went oh, white silence. <laughs> yeah, his head exploded. Yeah. So. um... What else do you want to know about uh, what, what teamwork? You guys were a team. Yeah, uh, that was yeah. you know. I mean, t- teamwork is pretty valuable, obviously, when you're. Creating so this is film. a great segue into yeah, the, Kreppel, the you're thing. a great team member. We really enjoyed working here with you. That those, I love you guys. Did we let the, yeah, it was really, very fun? You guys did we yeah, let the really listeners good. know that was our theme for today? Team. I think we did. Okay, good. Well, yeah. let, I just let them know again. <clears throat> so <laughs> during the mix, <laughs> mm. yes. What I experienced, I think it was the very last day. Uh oh! I did yell at our boss on the last day. Did I scare you? Did you I did freak you bit, out a little bit? Yeah, I know you hadn't seen that side of me. But yet. you had gone on an audition. <laughs> yeah, I left and came back. When yeah. or you left? Yeah. Here's what I experienced about you two, which is really cool. Oh, okay. Nice. All right, it's very very cool. You left. Christine moved right up into your place (laughs) and held court. Sure. And didn't take any shit from anybody, but also that was the greatest team that I've worked with. Mm. There's so many fucking people in that room all working together. Mm. A lot of cooks. Yes, and opinions and, you know, kind of going, well, I was thinking, da-da-da-da, you know how it goes. You come back hours later, she gracefully moves back (laughs) onto the couch, and you just step right on in, and I'm like, I want to... 
I want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> like, that to me is special. Yeah. Sure. You know what I'm saying? It's like that. that is what I experienced you guys as the team. I knew that you guys were married, but to right. see you go like this unspoken from what I could tell, you know, I didn't have the sidebar of, hey, baby, when I go on this audition. Mm-hmm. Oh, was there a sidebar? Yeah. Hey, baby. Yeah. Or was that just yeah. natural kind of like instinct? Well, Christine is the person who does that job the most. So mm-hmm. I was kind of the, I, for this movie, I was taking over that role. Mm-hmm. So um, I was, she had given me a lot of advice on how to try to run the room and keep everything moving forward Smart. and like get opinions and like, but eventually like, she, like we're taking the vote here, we're moving on, we'll yeah. do the thing. Um, you know, making sure your ideas got included and like talked about and put, and you were so quick. At, like when we talked about something, you would have it ready and like, by the time we finished the sentence of what we were maybe wanted to Here, try, what do you, th- what do you think of this? Go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Kreppel, can you? I already heard us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Good. Um, thank you. Heard that a lot about you, bud. <laughs> I know I'm fast. fast. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. Well, intuitive, too. Like, yeah, I'm going yeah, to put that, get that key. ready. That's the key. Intuitive. Yeah. That's a good word. So, uh, no, we hadn't talked about it. Um, and, but when I, when I stepped out of that role, and Christine stepped in, no one in that room had any question who the boss was. That's what I mean. <laughs> but it wasn't because she was replacing me. I had been mm. replacing her on that movie. But they had been bossed by her on many other previous movies. But they understood, though, when you were sitting there running the show, that you were running that show. You were running that panel of players. Mm-hmm. It was a little, yeah. I mean, that even surprised me a little bit, I will be honest. Okay. So uh, well, I would hope you What would does be. that mean to run? I mean, what does that mean to run it? Like, you're the boss. You're the boss. What are you, what are you doing back there that, that everybody just knows you're the boss? I really, I mean, you can, you can maybe say more, but it came down to a lot of, like, what we've just... Decisions. Like, well, yeah, someone has an idea. Kreppel makes it happen. We look around the room. Like, two people are like, yeah, and the other person doesn't say anything. So it's like, so Ava, are you... Do you have it? Yeah, we're moving on. Sure. Anything to add? Are you good? Like, yeah. or, or or like, hey, we're taking the vote now, or like, or just I'm sorry. Like, we're you just the you know, final we decision heard you, was like but, two yeah. two out of the two out of three people have an opinion. Or there three were four out, of us. You, well, there's That's okay. The thing, so there's yeah. four. There's four opinions. Right. Two are the same, and then two are different together. So uh-huh. you have three total different that, ideas. Yeah, that happened. And you got to whittle it in through acceptance and compromise mm. and, but the film is the the movie is the most important thing it's yeah it's not my fucking factor. feelings <laughs> i feel like it should be no 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 i don't get how does it how does it impact the film yeah how does the film benefit from it right and yes, and you guys you would have s- the most the most vision for it i think having developed it right I think maybe that is yeah part of why they let me run point on like final decision making. Mm-hmm. The director was one of the four, but yeah, didn't go as back as far as the development goes. And unfortunately, during the editing process, he got another job in mm. like Louisiana or Arkansas <clears throat> or something. Louisiana, yeah, Sean, mm-hmm. and yeah, then wow. also London. So he oh, had wow. he was off campus for lots of A the long time. Mm. just. I, and I, I think that to answer the question, like, what does it mean to be the boss? I think you, to me, the ones I don't like are the ones that gave the least amount of time but can t- have, have the most amount of status mm. and oftentimes are working counter to the actual creative process because right. uh, right. it's a swag. Yeah. It's just a bullying tactic. You just swing your dick around and yeah. then, like, I haven't, I haven't seen anything. Fuck, man, here's yeah, my yeah. opinion. And then I feel like there's the real boss, which is I put in the most time. I know this movie the best. Like I've, I've, I just have put in the most time. Sure. I know where all the bodies are buried. I know what all the rules are. Right. I know what every color is. Yeah. Because when it comes down to it, that is really where the decision gets made: is what is best for the movie. Mm-hmm. And if you are, if you're new you oftentimes will make the wrong call. It's like, oh, I love this ad lib line. Well, if you if you knew the movie, you'd know he's gonna say that then in the next scene. And right. now it's just repetitious. <laughs> yeah. Like now it's yeah. it's bad. It's right. clunky. Or, oh, that's a that's an, a funny idea, but it never comes back. It has no payoff. Right. Like now you've left something kind of stinky in the mix. Mm-hmm. And I do feel like that's usually the job of in our small company 
you know, I think a lot of people would say that independent films, it's a producer's medium more than it. Mm. And in major, bo- like big budget pictures, it's a director's medium. Wow. But inevitably, your director is not getting paid as much. He has to continue to move on. Mm. Right. And so it is really who has the responsibility to stay with the project. Yeah. And because as a producer, you you've been with it from the very beginning, from the minute it was and mentioned, you're putting the whole package together. <clears throat> yeah, you're just you're extremely pregnant. Uh, I mean, that's yeah, really yeah, yeah. the truth yeah. for a long time. For a, I mean, <laughs> for, for, yeah, yeah, like two years on these. Sometimes uh, more. Well, and because on independent films as well, it is you know what is it? You can either have money or time. But you can't have both. Like, what is it? It's like there's three things. Yeah, it's good, it's cheap, and fast. Good, quality, cheap, and yeah. quality. fast. Quality, price, and speed. 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 Yeah. Pick two. Pick two. And, pick so, two, and <laughs> pick two. And so that's really what I think we do a lot is the pr- the the um, post process takes a very long time mm-hmm. because we have so many special effects using found footage and racing footage right, and changing right. numbers and all of that action yeah. that in order to afford we don't have 15 VFX guys just like right. churning and burning. So <clears throat> our, you, you end up having to stay with the project for a really long time. Right. And are you waiting on, are you waiting on funding f- mm-hmm. for that? No, it's What's just whatever. Way? It's the, it's the idea that, I mean, I can't, um, okay. Let's say you have 20 grand mm-hmm. and if you want though, you want all of your 500 shots done in a month, that's going to cost a hundred thousand because you need to have like you know like I said ten VFX guys just churning and burning and right. churning and gotcha. burning, or you can have you can get it for twenty grand, but they need six months to do it because you're one of a couple jobs I they're doing. It. And, and he, they're this, this factors into that exact thing. I'm, I just fin- uh, finished dealing with this situation on this last thing I finished. Is there's rounds of those. Right. This mm-hmm. visual effect isn't quite right. Change this. Right. So y- your first draft, y- there's five or six drafts until you go. Yeah. Now we can color that and make it look like it's going to get inserted in and, and be yeah. fine. Right. Mm-hmm. It, and it's not a um, one visual effect equals one day. So if you have 50, it's not 50 days. It's going to be longer than that. Generally, speaking. I mean, usually if you're scrubbing out a boom mic. Okay. Yeah. Easy breezy. Like just, you know, resize it, scrub that out. But we have we have Number motorcycles yeah. going through space yeah. and motorcycle jerseys that are moving with wind yeah. and this five needs to become an eight. Right. Oh that is Yeah. I mean, that's probably right there, like a hundred VFX frames mm-hmm. for a single shot. Right. Wow. So <laughs> Yeah, that's, 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 I mean, and this kind of a film, too, is much different than just a regular, you know, maybe love story or something like that. Without a doubt. Yeah, because of all the effects and all the stuff, all the production going on. Right, right. So, uh, you've, have you done both sides of that spectrum? Have you done more of a smaller film, like, let's say, like Garden State or something, where it's really simple, it's just a kind of a love story, and then you have something like you're doing, where there's, uh, cars and accidents and all kinds of different stunts and stunt coordination. I, I haven't wish, written one. You've produced yeah, them. I, I wish that I could say, I think there's one in my eight that was a pretty small film overall. But the other, so if we're not doing, for me, if we're not doing motorsports, mm. um, our boss or our financier has a real like love and a, and a deep pang for horses. Ah, Dogs. Stand. Like the stand. Yeah. Farmers. Yeah. Farmers, yeah. Ranchers, Farmers, ranchers. So even wow, with that, man, it's... Oh, yeah. that all together. Now you're me. dealing That's with animals. Really now it's animals. <laughs> animals. I mean... Unpredictable. A beautiful, we, there's a beautiful movie that John wrote that is just a, a YA love story about a a rodeo guy that comes and falls in love with the townie girl. So you'd say, That's a small movie. Fuck no. <laughs> you have one fucking horse. I mean, it, like the yeah. horse, literally the horse budget, the horse wrangler, every horse has to have their very own individual wrangler. You yep. have to keep them. You have to house them. You have mm-hmm. to feed them. You have to have a vet wow. tech on set. And like, even if they're just like, oh, we're having a conversation, <laughs> but there's a horse right over here. That's, I mean, it's $20,000. Yeah. Like, that's I would crazy. say that honestly, race cars are easier and right. cheaper. Right. Really? Fuck yeah. I would, I would, oh my God. I would, you know what? So 
for me, that even today, wild. there's a lot of clarity happening because that <laughs> really makes sense. Um, when uh, because you can actually use like we did, like you did on wheels, as insert live action footage. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Yeah. That to me. Oh, okay. Gotcha. You know, you uh, we were at the Mav, um, the motocross. Mm-hmm. Uh, Oh, you went to, yes, you guys recorded the sounds of the 250s? No, and no, no, no. Um, what the hell race was that? The uh, Glen Helen? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. God, mm-hmm. it was San Bernardino. Mm-hmm. It is San Bernardino, yeah. But okay. It's the Glen Helen Speedway. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Raceway. Race Speedway. Yeah, they used, <laughs> they used <laughs> an <laughs> actual or several motocross races uh-huh. with a guy, and then they replaced the number on the jersey for the hero, oh. right? Isn't that? Well, you Whether basically, Bo, Bo yeah, is... you find you find a race that tells the story effect, like basically that you want to tell, and then you have when you have your big wides and you have all forty pro moto mm-hmm. guys, mm-hmm. and they're all taking off on the line, then. What you have to do, or what we have to do, is it's your reverse engineering. So now you cast stunt doubles that match. Mm. You know, these four bikers that are in this one frame. So right. you get your hero doing a bing, bing, mm. bing. <laughs> so those are stunt guys dressed to look like the real dudes. And then you have to match all that footage. That's crazy. Yeah. Pain it's a giant <laughs> puzzle. Wow. That's well, you saw too the color correction needed on that the, to make all the different yeah. types of footage look the same. Yeah, that is a long process too. Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's yeah. frame rates because it's TV <clears throat> footage. It's um, like uh, pro cam. What are they called? Oh, footage, like the footage. no, the yeah, yeah. Um, oh my God, GoPros. GoPro footage. Yeah, GoPros, and then we have a. Um, which which are way a different? 5D, they, do they like, just look different than oh, a, than a, than a look. really nice camera? A when you put all different... the footage together, you can just see like, oh, that's blown out. Oh, that's darker color. Yeah. Oh, that's rich. Oh, that's yeah, not. it's really well, contrasty. But yeah. Even more, and I'm not. This is too much science for me. John's the big math brain, <laughs> but it's frame rates. So let's just say on your Sony, like your 5D, your big movie camera. There's eight frames per second. Well, now you're on a GoPro and it's seven. Mm. So how do you get seven to match eight? Right. And it's that. And it. I. I don't. I, it totally blows my mind. Mm-hmm. But you have to do it for every frame. Right. It's a frame rate wow. conversion. Yes, it is. We have to. We have to do that too. Going from twenty three nine seven six, which is the normal standard uh video now right. to 24 mm-hmm. like i just d- delivering to paramount and they still want a 24 frame uh delivery for what's, some... what's paramount <laughs> um <laughs> they have the i street, think they're they a the cheese, street, right? cheese company the yeah ten amount <laughs> cheese company yeah <laughs> they're, i've they're had some of cheese their cheese yeah. string cheese I think. string cheese you know what my favorite string cheese is the kind that um you know stringy <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> because I get some from Trader Joe's, and I love Trader Joe's, and you can get organic and all that. But there, it's not stringy. It doesn't have the no. The, you know, you peel no, no, it. No, it's, it's just in the shape chewy. of a stick. It's, it's a stick. It's a yeah. chew stick. It's disappointing. Yeah. yeah, I have to say, I'm disappointed. I got string cheese shamed. I'm eating cheese, by the way. Yeah, you well, really you like... we reminded you you have a bucket of cheese there. <laughs> he's got he's got cheddar. <laughs> it's like a, bl- a cheddar blend there. I got <laughs> string cheese shamed <laughs> for not stringing it, and I like took it out. Yeah, yeah, you got to string it out of the pack. Yeah. And as just it, ate it stands out like a see who see who now? shamed you? Yeah, um, my, the... my friend that I won't name. Oh man, create a hashtag. She about said, it. "How can you eat string cheese without stringing it?" Yeah. Well, if it doesn't, don't sh- don't cheese. If shame it doesn't me, string, though, don't do it. Don't waste your time. Mm-hmm. She doesn't sound like a good team member. No, <laughs> tie in. That's it. <gasps> See, calling it back Segway. around. <laughs> Story, <laughs> please. <Callback there. laughs> I don't want your audience to think string cheese had nothing to do with what we were talking about today. So, so did you ever think in your wildness that you'd be making, uh, like, m- motocross and uh, uh, racing film? No. No. It's, rid- it's ridiculous. No, we are, like, the least... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't mean, know, like, we're the least motory, <laughs> gear heady, yeah. like... No, I drive a 2000... It's 2020, for all you listeners who are listening to this, like, yeah. 100 years in from now. In the future, <laughs> right? 
<laughs> it's 2020 right yeah. now. I have a 2007 Honda Civic oh. hybrid. hybrid. So that's what I have been tooling around in. Oh yeah, yeah. For uh, 13 years. Now, do you do you sh- <laughs> tooling around? <laughs> tooling around. The person who says I've been tooling around <laughs> is not exactly motocross material. <laughs> no, I just tool around in my Honda hybrid. Yeah. <laughs> I have fucking yeah, the, my way, name the is... wicked word. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Shows up for a production of a of a racing. Do you do you, yeah. do you rent oh, a car man. that day? Something no. maybe more muscly. <laughs> no. Yeah. Do you show up with a Challenger? My wife gives her <laughs> a ride to set. Yeah, in her Mercedes. She oh, still she That's... still pulls together a nice car. Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it's not. It's not souped up. No. It's like it has the it's economy version. Yeah. No, I it, it's it. I know from muscle. I know the people that do the muscle, and it's not us. Like they, it's. But I, what I, what I will say is, you know, to be kind of queer. Like people are people, and you know, passion is passion. And mm-hmm. so, what I have really enjoyed in getting into the motorsports is it's not that different than artsy fartsy. Sure. You know, like, yes, if we're kind of film geeks or already people like, you know, obsessed and watching films and watching TV and right. streaming and blah, right. that's exactly what they're doing. It's just yeah. it's it's who's your what is your weekend warrior passion? Right. So now do you find that it's more niche? Because we had uh, our good friend Ryan Churchill and he he did a movie called 60 Yard Line, which is about the Packers and it's about mm. football. Right. And he found that it was. After, you know, going through the process, it was sort of, you know, the audience was was narrow, even though it really wasn't about. I mean, no film's really about Mm -hmm. the sport. Right. It's there's more to it. But because it's kind of got that packaging, he found that the release wasn't maybe as as good. Right. Mm -hmm. You find that's the same with these sorts of films or are are they is is the is the crowd base big enough? Mm -mm. Does it hit the whole racing world or or do you, you know, um, like the truck racing, the desert racing and stuff? Is that very specific? It's super specific. And I so we've now released two. So Dirt and Bennett's War. And Mm -hmm. they both came out through Warner Home Entertainment and Bennett's had a theatrical. Nice. Nice. Bennett's War was originally called Motocross. Not that that's a good title. You don't name a title. like. But when they did all of the deep dive and you did all your marketing, you know, whatever. Focus testing. Focus testing. Mm-hmm. The one audience that refu- that does not go to movies is motocross. Oh, my God. Really? They are on the track. They're yes. gearheads. They yeah. do it. They don't watch movies about it. And so it was like for <laughs> all of the thing that you thought you were going to grab – Thank goodness the movie was about a guy who comes back from Afghanistan. So you've got a vet. He's a family man. He's got he's going to help his dad, like, save the farm. He goes to motocross to make money because he's got a wife and a child. So you we all of this spent like that's why it became Bennett's War. Coming home was only oh, the beginning. Cool. Mm-hmm. Like you, we immediately figured out that mm-hmm. like. Like oh my gosh, talk about pivot or like make a heavy hard turn to the right, get away from moto, get away from sports, get away from guys who like sports, because you can target them, but only home entertainment. Right. They will actually kind of like watch it at home, or they might like stream but not it. Theatrical. They're not going to the theater. They're at the track. God, that's that that's just blew point. my mind again, it's man. Because like a- I I think of shit like that with my band. Oh, if I could get with so and so or something like that it isn't like that they don't they don't do that because of you know you say you're associated with this mm-hmm. we're not sponsored by no. these these guys at kroger. all kroger no <laughs> definitely <laughs> definitely not <laughs> um but no. that that really makes sense and help helps me actually in real life to know that that y- you think that because you're making something that has to do with big shavers that everyone that's a big shaver is going to just naturally go to your big shaving ad or whatever. You know what I mean? It's like I didn't think. I just naturally assumed everyone would. No, I think you have to find your universal theme. Probably have to re- have a have a really good story yeah. too with it that 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 makes it less about what they're doing and more about the story, right? right? The story. Yeah. And I think that's just your marketing. You know, what are you going to do? How do you and sports movies are sports movies, so you can target a sports movie audience, but it really is that other cross 
repurposing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we also learned that women are the highest driving force for theatrical and even streaming. It's like, what are they going to drag their husbands to? What are they going to drag their boyfriends to? Mm. That males are not good consumers. Right. right. Yeah. Dude, I think so jo if you're Jonesy touched on that. About yeah. the girlfriend dragging the boyfriend or husband it's around. It's true. We're That's why the mommy bloggers are so powerful, mm -hmm. like in terms of creative arts and hmm. you know getting the word out. It's that they're really influential. Wow, it's interesting. It's interesting to to uh, that that angle of the business too to have to know that. I mean, obviously you're creating you're creating something that you want people to watch, so you have to know your audience, right? Right. Um, Interest, it's, I think that's pretty interesting. Yeah. So where, where are you guys moving on to now? Or, or Wheels isn't completely finished, is it? Yeah. What's the What's the plan for that one? Wheels is not completely finished. Still VFX. Mm -hmm. We're still doing that. We're still talking about color. Yeah. Yeah. This is color. And got to find a yeah. Got to find a home for it. Right. You know. Um, no. We're we're. What's the hope? What, like, do you guys oh, see? Oh, I a, mean, I. I believe it belongs on Netflix because I believe mm. that I believe that the audience that will really devour it yeah. is the ten year old boy mm -hmm. because it oh, is the humor and it is so perfect for it's them. just it's so perfect for young kid humor. It's got enough kind of swear words or like a side boob that it feels yeah. a little aspirational mm -hmm. for that age group. <laughs> mm -hmm. They don't have cars, they can't go out. Like right. that is the time when those that middle school age they just stream and stream yeah. and stream and stream and then they tell each other and they spread the word and right. so that's where I believe it belongs I mean it's a really hard sell to put an R-rated film even R-rated comedies in a theater when you're trying to target young boys right because they can't mm, get I think in we talked right. about briefly um, well, during during the wheels mix is that the model for the theatrical release is no longer the same oh, it's yeah, it's, what does right? that mean? It's Explain gone. That. It's, um, the the idea of um, maybe you guys can help me with this, but from what I understand, is making a movie. You're not necessarily shooting to make a movie that's going to be released in a theater. There's so many mm. other platforms out there now. Now, what what's the approach? Is the approach different? Is the I, or are you just making movies? I mean, is it is the approach different for a theatrical release or or a streaming release? Are you just well, you know what I'm saying by that, right? Is the, is the model does the model change in your approach to making it? Well, I think it has to. Yeah, thinking you're going to get a theatrical release that's going to make in the like ten to thirty million dollar range just doesn't happen anymore. It doesn't even happen with big stars anymore. Right. You know, something as like whatever classics out of Africa or on Golden <laughs> Pond or Kramer versus Kramer. Like, wow, those are all great. <laughs> You've heard? Have you heard of these? <laughs> 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 that kind of like adult thought piece movie like is not it's not going to sell tickets because the people who like it don't mm. go to the theater anymore. The right. people that go to the theater want to see superheroes mm -hmm. and Pixar basically and sequels and you know so a lot of that market we feel like has moved to TV it has. like mm. the morning show where you get all mm. these stars big Great little show. lies oh. like we Great get. Show. You know, and that's part of the, the crap for us, unfortunately, is that, you know, there's a big little lies. There's four parts that my wife could play. They're being played by Reese Witherspoon oh. and Nicole Kim. I was like, well, okay, those, I'm out of those. Bye. What a cast. Done. Meryl Streep. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> like, oh, did I get an audition? No, they gave it to Meryl Streep. <laughs> they gave it. She didn't so, even have no, to audition. No, you didn't audition for that part. Bastards. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, a lot of that, like, adult <laughs> smart entertainment is has shifted away from the theaters and we're making movies that are in that genre with no stars yes yeah. so it is yeah. it's such yeah. an uphill battle so we really do need to pivot towards this like streaming home entertainment and getting someone to getting someone to be interested in interested in it up front so there is just more there's more um, support behind it sure. while you're before you make it while you're developing it when it comes out when mm -hmm. how they're going to market it all that stuff mm -hmm. So that's kind of next, but it's it's we don't know enough about it. We're right. learning all that as we go too. It we also trying is, our best. Yeah, it's also changing in a way that is insane. Like we've had conversations with the people who run Warner Brothers Home Entertainment, and you know the guy he's the main man in charge, and he said it has the business has changed more in the last year than it has in the last twenty five. Holy cow! 
Really? That's crazy. You know, in 2015, when we started with this company and this experiment, we, the original movie went out on home entertainment and sold, I can't remember the exact number, but let's just say it was like 50,000 VHS DVDs mm-hmm. at Walmart. Like that was the game. And right, it was like, right, right. hey, go make more because we sell DVDs mm. at Walmart. That whole. It's gone. It's gone. Right. They don't even. They don't have them on the shelf anymore. No, like the guy that was our buyer has is doesn't work there anymore. Like has moved. Like so, that that's just a four year, five year span right. of time where you had a model where you knew where this kind of product sure. went, sure. and you did a small like you know. 10 theater theatrical and then you supported it and then it was and people didn't I mean when you compared that original film what was sold in VHS versus what was on iTunes or right. on demand mm-hmm. the VHS was or DVD I guess it was like five times the amount and then the very next year the running wild movie those numbers had flipped wow so now you're looking for digital distribution, mm-hmm. basically streaming networks. Yeah, and there are a lot of them, but now now it's becoming now it's becoming so prominent there that it's it's even hard to get in. Probably in the beginning, I think, I'm, I, think yeah, I think you're right in, to a certain degree. I mean, look now at, now look Netflix the, is making the, their own. Content. That's what it look is. Look at the Irishman. Yeah. Look at all those stars mm. in that film. Yeah. Did you watch it? No. No. I, I just either. heard it was three hours. Oh, and I, was I know like, that 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 turns everybody off. But God, I know I got I got the screener when do I in the mail, hours? and I was like, oh, "Good point. Should I, I mean, should I dive into this thing? I mean, how deep time. is my I've whiskey bottle? Your <laughs> life is very busy. We split it so up. My, my wife and I split up between two days. We couldn't finish it the first day, but uh, I it was amazing. I mean, it was. But that's not, that's what we get now on streaming. Yes. It's yeah. it's crazy. It's totally crazy. Yeah, Netflix, you wouldn't even uh, think that it would be that way. No, you never would. And there's also the giant, you know, screaming. I think Steven Spielberg is heading up the, you know, angry boycott about, you know, why, how the fuck are these yes, being nominated yeah, it, it for is. Academy right. Awards? And like, it's not theatrical. And how dare you? Oh, and boy. just the purist about the. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a big, explosive, Wild West kind of time. Right. And how do you feel about that? To change. Do you think they should be uh, noticed? As far as for the Oscars and for the awards, I mean, we're talking about big, come on, Ducey. big films. Yeah, I want to know how you feel. Let's about go, it. big dog. I leave that up to my wife. No, <laughs> come on. What do you think? I agree with her. <laughs> You're it's just, <laughs> I think it's. I think it's a difficult thing. I mean, I think it just depends on how how important you think theaters are. I mean, right. yes, if 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 going to theaters, if having that experience, if that if that if you're a cinephile, if you're a purist and that really matters to you, that full immersion, yeah. that yeah, yeah. you yeah. know, basically yeah. like in the womb yeah. experience, if if you want that to continue, then yeah, you have to be angry about it. Right. And they they stepped it's that undercutting. up a lot with the new with the new chairs that you can right, you like you can get the thing, dinner. Yes. You really <laughs> you can. can get a beer. Oh, right. Yeah, I mean you can sit in the chair and and the explosion happens on screen and your chair, and your vibrates. chair vibrates. Yeah, you, there's gunfire on the screen and you feel the impact. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, oh yeah, you get shot. In the but night. the point, but my point is like, okay, so maybe I'm, not, I'm obviously not a purist. I don't go to the theater that much. I am, I love streaming. So for me, I think it's, I think they should get the uh, awards for it. I think, and the reason why is because that means it's going to make those films better too. You know, they're going to put more effort into those. Mm-hmm. And as a person who enjoys film streaming, I want to see all the best stuff. Right. But I, I think uh, I actually prefer series more now than than uh, shows because now you get a you get a ten hour movie. You know, mm-hmm. and they, I think they can really tell yeah. the story. They can really tell a better story because they can make it a little longer. Right. Um, and that's where I think uh, a lot of these streaming services are kicking some serious ass with all the uh the series that they're kicking out yeah i'm i'm i think in april i'm starting a a series called pen 15 are you have you guys heard of that Mm -mm. well pen 15 is penis Mm. on on oh is that a paper it's a thing these two women are doing this series and it's a 10 episode thing i think um but they had a rough uh climb to get this thing made but now it's doing well and it's mm. like really starting That's to awesome. grab some um some traction is it, it's on some it, they have platform? a season they have a season out yeah pen 15 do you know do you, where? Are, where are you i watching think i saw it? a couple episodes of it yeah where are you watching is it, it about penis in the theaters 
<laughs> Straight face, I take dude. My, my laptop to You're the an theater. Assassin. Uh, yeah, you I do. Watch it. I sit <laughs> in the theater with your and, uh, bucket of popcorn. Yeah. Well, buttery that's popcorn. yeah. You're yeah. making sure that you paid for the ticket <laughs> yeah. and the popcorn. That's really where yeah. they make all their that's money. True. So. Yeah. Yeah. But even, you know what, to get back to the the, the theatrical experience, you're not seeing it on film. Mm-mm. They're they're displaying a digital image on a digital a DCP, yep. a digital cinema projector, right? So film has kind of gone it's, it's mostly oh, totally yeah. Cool. yeah, I think maybe it didn't isn't Once Upon a Time in Hollywood shot on Prob- film? Probably. Was well, that like Tarantino. one of the Tarantino. things mm-hmm. like it's big big fucking deal? Yeah. I think. But I mean, yeah, there's I doubt that it went to the theaters and they can't they don't have projectors anymore to do when that. i drive to the theater in my honda civic hybrid <laughs> i really could give a shit if it's on film or digitally projected right. so i'm i'm lost in but that at the same conversation time, you want too, the fucking sound to sound good too yeah. though you but I, only in my movies do i give a shit <laughs> about yeah the sound yeah. sounding good yeah it seems to me it's more of a just a jurisdic- jurisdictional uh, crisis like yeah. so you make this movie for streaming do you put it up for a oscar or a i mean what's the other option a a movie of the week Emmy. Well, you know what, basically, that, dude. You know, okay. it's like, well, nobody, nobody wants an Emmy for their cool movie. Let's talk. I mean, is let's that talk the problem? About... It's like, well, fuck Emmys. I don't want a stupid Emmy. Yeah, I don't because want... it's going to be up for something. So, yeah. is it an Emmy or is it an Oscar? Because we don't have streamies and we don't have like a category. Why not, dude? Of... That I was just going to say, why could not we do? That's a great one. An That's award great called word. the Streamy. Seriously, because yeah, well, no one would want it. They only want the four the the EGOT awards. How they do you know that? I'm my finger on the pulse, bitch. <laughs> How do you not know that? I am not John Deucey, bitch. <laughs> I just love that you just said EGOT. Like, oh, yeah, he just yeah. kicked it out. You just know. He's in the know. I mean, he's Yeah, I'm only four texting. away. <laughs> what? I'm only four away. <laughs> Whole new experience. Yeah. yeah, you're seeing it. Streamy. The streamy. Uh, that's, nobody's gonna, uh, that's like the MTV... Award or something like that. Though. Yeah. Sorry, careers have been made of... from getting the Video Vanguard Award. Video Vanguard, right? No, nope. what is that? Man. <laughs> the MTV Music Award. Oh, right, 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 <laughs> right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. right. Yeah. People's I, Choice. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of. But yeah, if you if you are Martin Scorsese and you just made a movie, do you want it up for an Emmy for Movie of the Week, or do you want it up for? An Oscar. Well, I think he probably I don't know. wants an Oscar. Yeah, he it. probably does, but maybe not anymore. He's accomplished a lot. I don't know that he necessarily has to prove anything anymore. That's why he made a three-hour film because he right. just does whatever he wants. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think at, at the point in, in, at this point in his career. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he needs a team. I think yeah, he needs a team. team. Oh, yeah. The only other thing I <laughs> yeah. I wanted to comment because you I think the original question was like, how do you feel about this, or yeah, how yeah. do you feel about just uh, what I do like is with the streaming, I do think you can hone in on a very specific market. Oh, cool. Which is very different Mm -hmm. than, you know, what our daughter watches on Netflix. I've never heard of any of these movies. I consider them giant pieces of shit. Like, (laughs) you know, the kissing booth and the whatever. Like, they're very much geared for her age group. Mm -hmm. And and they cast them that way and they make them that way. And they might be based on, like, a young adult, you know, novel or not. They're never going to hit my feed. They were not made for me. And she and her friends will watch them. They'll watch them repeatedly. They'll tell each Mm. other about them. More options. And and that's a very specific option. Right. Similarly, like, she's not interested in Big Little Lies. Like, that was made for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, it, you're, and what I, I also like about it is that it's, I feel like network television has been hit with the uh, ethnic diverse stick. They've been given so much political correctness. They're yep. trying to hit everybody that they're hitting nobody. Mm. Like, that's what I like about these streaming is like Big Little Lies isn't trying to make, you know, everyone multicultural. It's Monterey. Right. This is about like uptight white bitches getting into trouble. Like, that is just what it is. That was the novel that was written. Like, we're not trying to like cross like, oh, and then everyone's married interracially. Like, it's that is if you're doing that, then I think you're just homogenizing a specific message. Very good point. Where if you go, you're doing a Peaky Blinders, like you're just, you're going to just go right down the line. Like right. this is a, a authentic, you either like it or you don't. And we're not trying to grab 
everybody. Yeah. What, what, we talked about series a little bit. Would it be something you guys would ever want to be a part of as a series, writing for, acting in, as a team? As a team. We'll come back mm. to the team here, right? Yeah. It's harder. Um, we would love to be acting in because a series. Because that, that's, I mean, that's ongoing. What, I mean, that's... Yeah, it yeah it does. It takes as a writer producer, it takes a lot of a lot more time. So acting though, but acting yes, we we certainly do enjoy Price, it. a steady paycheck. Yeah. A you know a kind. And not, if it's a not the asshole love. banker hours, but no, God. you have no. They're I mean they're brutal. I, I would say that's how I mean that's what bought our house. That's what bought. Yeah. The Honda Civic. Yeah. I mean, it's all it's all been TV. Paid for. Paid for. Right. The, I think that the trick is, from what I understand, and, you know, you're not the only one that loves series. Like, right now, showrunners are king. Like, they, they in a world where 10 years ago, the regular lay people never heard that term, mm-hmm. didn't know what it was, and now it's, like, everyone knows what a showrunner is. Right. Like, Shonda Rhimes is a fucking celebrity. Mm-hmm. Like she, that's true. So I think that in television, you go in and you pitch an idea. And I know that even writers that are friends of ours who are established will, you have to go in with one of these celebrity showrunners, like one of these big deal people. You're not really writing on spec where, you know, in terms of us and in terms of being able to like, you know, develop a film and throw it out like you John just wrote one in January. I'm just like, I'm going to give myself a month. I'm going to get that first draft done. That's a film. People will read a film. People will buy it on spec. When you, if you're going to pitch a TV series, people aren't necessarily buying a script. They're right. buying an idea. They're, you're getting I got you. pitched okay. an idea. And then, and then, the, the, then the, the script And then they bring later. the writers in. The, and then uh, they right? bring the writers and in. And they start and, sounds, and then they do, thing. yeah. And, and part of it is, you know, you you don't write for free, so I'm going to pitch an idea. This is an idea I have, and then if you like it, you're going to pay me, and I'll get paid to sit and do this, right, the typey right. typey thing. Yeah. And some big movies work that way as well. People go in and pitch an idea, and then they get paid to write. But it's not as weird, cart before the horse, to actually like write a script on spec and totally then go different. sell it. Right, right. Go look at look for funding. Go yeah. get the financing. Go get the distribution. Like that's what a producer does. Our friend Hal, um, he had sold a script. It, 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 have you gotten updates on that? I haven't. But yeah, he when was he, talking when about he was that, here, yeah. he said that he had he had recently. Uh, had a TV the, idea or a movie? I think a movie. I believe, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I, yeah. I thought it was a TV do, idea, Do you know who actually, Hal but... Ozan is? The O's. Hal O. No, I don't know. <laughs> You're going really you go to really If you go to the gig on the 29th. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. a... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he'll be there or he'll he's be, in he'll the band? Be, he was in a band, an incredible singer. Okay. <clears throat> um, but he's getting up with us and jamming. <gasps> oh, surprise! Secret. Is this a surprise? surprise. You're not going to release. Well, this I might till... might have revealed it. Maybe I shouldn't. Have. No, I, I have also, a flyer. I, I got out the, in the real look world. that you got there. The the look. I got the. Mm, <laughs> mm, 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 no, mm, I mm, I don't do those. Team trouble. Team falling apart. Uh, oh no! <laughs> Darn it! Yeah. It's our last show together. Right, oh, okay. <laughs> so you mentioned uh, what you're doing next. Uh, you can briefly talk about that a little bit, or what your what your approach is for uh, Wheels of Fortune. When you think it might be. When, when our listeners might be able to watch it, see it, uh, we would have, love to tell your listeners. Yeah, you're that. not sure. Right? Well, we have two, the the young adult rodeo uh, movie mm-hmm. is in the can, waiting to find a place to live. Okay. And then uh, the the roundy round. Is, Wait, what does that mean? It, it needs means to be it, made, right? You it's wrote done. It, now it's no, no, it's done. Like the movie's done, Shot. edited, finished. Oh everything. shit! Yes. Okay. Yeah. And you know, it's one of like five or so that the company has now. Where it's got to find a place for it. Right. Is it going to be home, home entertainment, streaming? Now, it, are you stuff? off hands on that? Is that is that out of your hands when they're finding distribution? Or are you guys still involved in that process? If we stumbled upon somebody who wanted to buy it, we could go in and tell them. Yeah. But yeah, by and large, we don't have any skills in that regard right. or right. connections. I mean, really, you need somebody who right. can get someone to answer their phone call and right. and then look at the movie and see if you know they want it in their world. Yeah, so yeah. our boss is in charge of that. Yeah, that's nice. You don't have to worry about that part. But have you have you written have you gone through this whole process and then nothing was ever dis- distrib- distributed? Like and and if so, is that pretty disappointing? <laughs> I imagine that it is. It's hard. Yeah, it's all the I mean, the first six have all come out in some way, 
but they never, you know, none of them made a hundred million dollars. Right. Are you asking me, are we disappointed? Of course. Well, no, no, because no, no. you <laughs> want you want a ton of money, you want a ton of people to see what you well, did. Of course, yeah. so we all we all do. I mean, yeah. What I mean is, have you ever gone through a whole production and, oh, yeah. then, and it never get distribution? Shelved. None of them have been put totally in the toilet shelved. yet. No, yeah. Like there's there's hope and dreams and pushes for all of them. Good. So, nice. yeah. And I do think again, like we talked about, there's so many more places, mm-hmm. and we don't we don't have ownership once the film is done that does belong to the bosses and so it's really up to them to decide what the price point is like i there's been bites from netflix but you know if it's not is it the right amount and then sure. hbo max is now coming out with their own streaming service and oh, looking for content so it's like well which one is going to be sexier which one is the bigger right. dollar right. amount so i don't believe that any of them will go into a drawer to mm-hmm. collect dust. It's just, you know, the how much profit, how much can, and, and when do you just say good enough? Right. You know, you know when you have a, buy, a big catalog, only one maybe has to be the no, big hit, right. and the rest of them just kind of clear some black. Right, like right. just get enough to collect some cash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's a great point. How do you, um, as artists, as actors and actress, how do you feel? Do you, or let me ask you this because I don't know the the actual numbers if there are any, but the residual world. Yeah, points. You mean like when it goes in? Yeah. How much do you you're get on sale? On, like on the views? streaming services? Have we reached a point where now that new medium? is now a financial option? Mm-mm. They Well, it, it's, it's We've been We've suffered a... the same fate as musicians, I think, have. Where, like, That's mm-hmm. where I was headed yeah. with this, mm-hmm. is that the yeah. streaming services have, in my opinion, have really ruined a lot of the longevity of careers. Because... Mm-hmm. Well, they're cutting out the middle class. I mean, it's happening in every yeah. industry in America, right. but it is ha- definitely happening to us, too. Mm, right. And yeah. so is this why oh, yeah. no, you it would used to move be... into a producing role or mm-hmm. just writing? So you have and a I don't mean more... just writing, but y- like that might be what you do for two years. Yeah. And then you know you get something and you know you act in it in that way. Yeah. Um, that, that's, I, w- no, I wish we to... could get that under control because I think there's so much money going into streaming from the labels – because the the streaming service pays the labels, mm-hmm. yeah. and they pay the artist a fraction of that. Yeah, there's millions and millions of no, dollars no, yeah. in there. You know? Yeah, you're talking about music streaming. Yeah, but yeah, even even going no, into no, it's the same with acting. I mean, it used to be that if you did a network television guest spot, these are old numbers, but let's say it was you know six thousand for the week. Your first rerun was a twenty five hundred dollar check. Wow. Second rerun, wow. like 1700 Third rerun. Mm-hmm. I did that 70s show in 2003. I still get $60 every time one of those episodes airs. Like, that's <laughs> old school fucking <laughs> money. Like, that was real. Yeah. Now, like, then you went to the next tier of, like, your TNTs and your TBSs mm-hmm. where it's more along the lines of first run is like 500. Mm-hmm. Then you go into your like Netflix's I don't even I like it's a dollar, it's like 17 cent. I don't know. Nobody's yeah. getting good residuals. Nobody so like it's that level of however you manage your money, however you manage your life, $2500 is is rent. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just because they yeah. re-aired your thing, yeah. and then you just take that completely away, mm-hmm. and the streamers aren't paying the same salaries. Yeah. So as much as I like, am mad about network, and it's all homogenized, and they're just trying to reach too many people. Like, it, the death of it is very upsetting yeah. for actors. Yeah, I, th- I, th- I don't see there isn't anyone willing to step up on our end. And I think, f- for example, mm. um, and this is just my opinion. So anyone that has any say in what I do, fuck off. The I think <laughs> people say sound is half the movie. This is a common thing that we hear, right? And as a mixer of movies or television shows, I think that there's some artistry in there that happens along the lines of someone who looks at a script and breaks mm. a character down. Like, for example, I don't mix the sounds in an action sports 
comedy the same way that I do a suspense movie. Like I make more dynamic range in the right. talking. And then when it's big and it's scary, you know, there's different ways. There's artistry inside mm-hmm. there. I'm not saying that I should make, we should make the same amount of percentage in a royalty world as an actor or even a musician. But I think there's a valid argument there and no one will go to bat for for royalties on your work. And Do a you have a union? Yeah. They have negotiated us down, 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 down to they they can negotiate us down to minimum wage wow. on low tier zero and tier one projects. Crazy. And then let you do a box rental and pay you that way. But that box rental is not a guarantee. The Ooh. union is just like. Hey, crap, I feel terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Here's, I have forty five dollars total. We're meeting. Like, I mean, you take it, and I'm sorry. Tell your wife I'm sorry. Tell your kids I'm sorry. But this is why here. this is why John, John and I lunch. get along. <laughs> uh, you know good. what? That it, it is a bummer. You know, you think everybody thinks it's so uh, lucrative. You know, you get oh, you're on Netflix. Oh all gosh, this, yeah. but you're you're getting maybe a penny. For a stream, I don't know what they're what they're paying, but it's it's just you know it's a lot of work, it's a lot of work, and I hope that with with this podcast we can really illustrate and show how much work it is, mm-hmm. and you know how yeah, people, there's glamorous moments, but it is a ton of fucking it's a work, lot of work, man. and there's a lot of people on the team, team, mm-hmm. team. This guy, hey, well, that's what you I you got to w- pay him. I think. yeah, that's what I would say. <laughs> Bats are gonna fly it's, out of my wallet. <laughs> It's not dust poof. It's the reason that from what I understand, like the Screen Actors Guild was created because actors themselves would do it for free. Yes. They would pay somebody mm-hmm. else to do it mm-hmm. because it's the love of the craft. Right. So there is something we all have an Achilles heel as artists whereby it is the very act of doing it that somehow fills us up. Like, you forget, like, oh, and then I actually mm-hmm. have to eat, and I actually uh, have, course, like, a yeah. thing. Because for me, I, that's, when I look back at the last five years, like, it's not, a, it was not a financially great adventure, but it is every moment of team, it is every moment of collaboration, it's learning the importance of so many other departments and right. how they all work together. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, I, my favorite is sound. I'm actually, I don't totally get color. Like, I don't know if I, I just don't quite see it. I don't, mm. I mean, I can see if it's wrong, but I don't, right. yeah. but sound, holy shit. Like yeah. that is, that's where, to me, that's where the movie is made because it will, you can emotionally manipulate the yeah. shit out yeah. of an audience yeah. with it. It's that final piece that will bring things together that you're, you're basically putting your audience on a journey yeah, and it's yeah. the yeah. it's the composer it's the mm-hmm. source film music but it's all it's every bit of sound design right. Right. i totally agree with that yeah. that was, it allows you to feel like you're in a cohesive yeah i was watching this I, I was mentioning it to to the guys on the way down here um i, I started watching the outsider on oh we have it on our oh, queue mm-hmm. and you talk about sound manipulating <laughs> manipulating a show it is there's a cello in it, and it's just this low. It's just mm, cool. beautiful. And I'm like us. Oh, so I was like talking to, talking to my wife. I'm like, see, this is how. <laughs> without this here, <laughs> this moment would mean nothing. Mm-hmm. Jason, mean- shut up! I'm trying to watch The Outsider. <laughs> <laughs> like, shut up! I well, missed something. Along the same lines, <laughs> right. do you guys watch Peaky Blinders? Uh, no, oh, I no. don't. Uh, we, by the way, David, our our uh, guys in the mm-hmm. room, our, our photographer, my my. Uh, brother-in-law and co-host David. on the podcast. He he's a big fan of that show. I haven't started watching it yet. He 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 raves about it. So, so one of the things that I think is the most amazing is that it's you know whatever a turn of the century British like garbage London adjacent thugs, and the music is like ska. Oh, wow. I love that. Like it's I, a, I, I mean that. right ska <laughs> or it, it's definitely some. Very, it's very like, current version of kind of like punk, ska, rock that you just, it, 
it's so like, but it does to your head, and then you just feel like, like you're watching something like totally so different. much more current than yeah. you are. But totally it gives this frames, like yeah. rough and tumble vibe, and I, I mean, yeah, it was one of the first. I was like, who is this music supervisor? Right. Like, what a, ha, brilliant! Like, yeah. who had this idea? Right, it's pretty right. cool. Uh, well, we're much. coming to the end. Oh, so uh, what did you just say? Did you just mock <laughs> me? I, no, I, I agree with my wife. <laughs> He's winning. Team. Points. <laughs> Points. Good. Team so, so we're coming to the end with more. the random uh, questions. Team more. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to pick a few good ones here. Um, so random questions. Just, you know, a- a- answer honestly. Have fun with them. And it's not a they're comparison. Really, they're really uh, silly. To us to each other yeah, kind of thing? Okay. The your There's no winner. Is there a winner? Oh. John. Yes. Can you? Just keep, well, you just can... quietly keep score, okay? <laughs> okay. And then let Go. me know at the end how I did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you. <laughs> just let, let me know that I won, <laughs> please. It'd well, be great if, if I turned out I did win. We'll yes. text you on the just way home. So you can go, See, yeah. I knew I it. One, honey. Yeah. All right. So do you do you like Disneyland? Oh my god. Oh no. How do you many have another times? Hour how many times have you this? been to Disneyland? Disney, John's family are, are fucking insane oh Disney God. fanatics. Oh, shit. My sister is a Disney travel coordinator. So she's <laughs> like, she's been on the cruises, she's been Disney World, Disneyland. No, she thing. came to this though, like, not, like, she's, you know, 46, has been doing it for three years because she just had been there so many fucking times. Like, right. just might as well go ahead and monetize this because I have, have yeah. mastered Disney. I, like, yeah. I've made it my life's, pla- like, passion and yeah so i might as well just go ahead and work for them oh my God. now That's i crazy. like it more than my wife does though and i've traveled to disney world with my daughter just the two of us mm. and when i had to run the sticker price by my wife oh she, shit yeah it's like why aren't we going to the four seasons <laughs> in hawaii <laughs> i mean it's ridiculous the yeah price. the four seasons in paris i mean i feel like if yeah. we could have gone to, like four seasons in japan yeah <laughs> Yeah, no, Emma just, our daughter just spent a night at Disneyland in oh one of the goodness. hotels at Disneyland. It was five seventy five a night. Oh, fuck that. For a, mm. for a wow. box. Yeah. For you a know. Holiday Inn Express level. Yeah. Right. And you're never, right. you're never in it yeah. either, so it's not. Like it's the no, important it's waste. It's, it's a waste. Yeah, you shit. You go to bed. Kind of like brush your teeth. You a go. hotel in Vegas. It's kind of like you're not really yeah, you're not in it. What use a, it? Right. Right. So, Christina, what, what what do you think? I think it's cute. I don't I don't get the like majesty. I, yeah. I there is not a part. I for me and I meant it, it was like we could go to the Four Seasons in Japan, mm-hmm. like as a family, as a cultural experience, right, as a right, right. like. What exactly are we doing? So expensive. Yeah. I mean, just and I and I know that I've also heard, you know, they continue to raise the prices to keep the crowds down. They don't have a way no to way. crowd control. That's a, that's a way to do it. I and, stopped going. <laughs> and that's what they <laughs> do. Wow. So to me, it's like, couldn't you? I mean, not that you have to be altruistic with your giant amusement park. I understand you're here to make money, but is there maybe not a better way or like a lottery or you have to sign up in advance or, you know, I want to go to Disney. Well, I can't get in until 2021, yeah. but the ticket isn't $800. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so expensive. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. That's I just feel idea. like it's, I think it's a great thing and I think it's a yummy place to go. And mm-hmm. I just feel like I, how do families afford it that are i mean i wonder if that you just like that makes mortgage your whole fucking life to go to this thing because everybody else is going save up for it yeah Yeah, it's and is it worth it that's one of those things uh next thing how would you rate your karaoke skills on a scale of one to mariah carey Mm. Mm, mariah carey for me (laughs) i mean you can hear the the voice oh no yes i'm I'm, I'm already the voice is already coming out in spoken <laughs> form. <laughs> so, so true. I think you can obviously just deduce what you, ooh, ooh, deduce. that the result Dang. in karaoke is fantastic. I'm sure. So what's your go-to song, John? Mm. Uh, what is my go-to song? It's um, You like Copacabana. One of them is Copacabana. That's for sure. It's Barry Manilow. Although when I, uh, I realize now when I performed it uh, at a rap party for Wheels of Fortune, uh, most of the cast had never heard of it. Really? Oh, my. Yeah. Too I'm young? Like, oh, too young. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're 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 aging yourself mm-hmm. with that one. Yeah, just Who get, knew? you know, just got to update it. Just got to get something younger. Well, I do. I also I've added. Let's talk about sex to my repertoire lately because mm. that's a, still on the cusp there. No, it's no, that's throwback. old. Yeah, that's yeah. like '90s, early yeah. '90s. Yeah, no, they hadn't heard either of that one too. That's you don't funny. sing "Boogie in Your Butt." Um, What's that? No? Eddie Murphy? No, no I'm, not I'm not familiar even, with it. Really? Not familiar with it. Yeah. Oh. 
Christine? Um, I don't, yeah, no, I don't. I don't. You don't karaoke? I don't karaoke. No. I would say, if anything, I've done a little Pat Benatar, but it's not great. You've done maybe a show tune or two, like I bet a grease. You could wail the like... fuck out of Pat Benatar. I mean, it, but I don't, I don't enjoy it. Oh, yeah. You hmm. know, I just, yeah. I, I don't, <clears throat> I'm not a big, like, let's go do karaoke. Hmm. Like no, you guys did on wheels. You really, you and Matt Jones got your Jonesing on for karaoke. (laughs) That was good use of Sean P. Our director loves the karaoke too. Sean, you know Sean. Sean P. Mm -hmm. No, I'm a dancer. Mm. I would, I would easily go, and also Sean P. He likes to dance. I would easily go to like some dive bar and just dance, dance, like dance the night away. Like Uh, nice, get after it. Yeah. Go. I like, like that. I, I would rather do that than karaoke. Does Sean do the kung fu moves when he dances? Oh, my, he or can do robot? all of it. He can par, par, par parkour, parkour, par, parkour, like, parkour, oh. <laughs> parkour, parkour. You know, I mean, he he's got real moves. He can yeah, like yeah. kung fu. He can flip. He's got. Oh, that dude's a black belt. In yeah, kung he's fu all that shit. like he's, shit. He's also just an energizer bunny, mm-hmm. and he's also a goer. He yeah. doesn't. There's, there's nothing too foolish. Like, oh, we're all doing it. Ch-. He, he's the <laughs> one leading it all over the bar with townies like coming townies. like just oh, that. Petaluma is real. Mm-hmm. That's that's meth townies. Petaluma, where oh. is that? It's California, uh, north right? of San Francisco, about an hour. North okay, of San I've been Francisco, through there. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's there like, like it. Montecito is up there. Right? Well, Salito is up it's there. So, it's so, yeah, so, it's so, south so. of um, Napa. Okay. Like, is it near the coast? Adjacent. Oh, no, I know where it is. Yeah, it's off the 101, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, right yeah, off yeah. the 101. Okay, gotcha. We drove to the coast, what was it, like 30 minutes? 35? Yeah. Five. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it's not on the coast, no. It's coast so, adjacent. you said parkour, parkour thing. I can't help but to think of that office. Sounds. I don't know if you want. Oh, I love that <laughs> that episode, man. My was, son did that. That was one of their cold openers. I loved that. It was so great. My son can do that stuff. Can he? And, and do like it well. For real? Has he hurt himself? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hurt his back. I'm sure. Sure. Are your grandparents mildly rude? Oh, where are you getting? Where are you getting? <laughs> are you putting together like those fridge poetry words and until they make a question? That's what I did. <laughs> did it at home first. Took a picture. <laughs> Took all right. me all. And they're all like this. <laughs> let me let me let me play that. Okay. So, are, are your grandparents mildly mildly rude? <laughs> rude? Yeah. Um. <laughs> my grandparents are completely dead, but um, <laughs> that's uh, oh, greatly, uh, greatly dead. Yeah, yeah not uh, mildly. We're, yeah, my I'm fifty one, as we mentioned earlier. Yeah, so my grandparents would have topped a hundred. So uh, were they then <laughs> completely dead? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I got one grandparent alive. So. Of the two out of four that I knew, they were they were not. I would say they were uh, they were pretty advanced for their like white upbringing. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. one, my grandfather was a professional baseball player in the forties. Hmm. Um, they were more salt of the earth. They were a little more like they were blue poor. collar, they were super poor. like yeah. rumble tumble mm. cool. kind of cats. That yeah, they in, had five kids and they had two bedrooms, so they had. Ooh. One, the parents slept in one room. That's four girls then, slept though, in the know? other bedroom, and the boy slept on the couch. Oh the my goodness! But it. they own the house, right? Mm-mm. No, it was the third floor apartment. Wow! Yeah. Oh wow! Where? Yeah, this like, is in Waukegan, Illinois. Okay. And you know the Waukegan, second floor. I think I've been through there. Second floor was like their, the, my grandfather's sister, and then like the first floor oh, was shit. like you know another cousin. Mm-hmm. From, it was a, all Lithuanian like ghetto in Waukegan, basically. Right. <laughs> like, Crazy. Right. Yeah. Christine? Mom? Um, no, they were... Uh, Pearl was rude sometimes. <laughs> Pearl was... Pearl. Love that name. It's yeah, a, that's no. definitely an older Pearl. person's yeah, name. Yeah, no, Pearl May. Um, they weren't, they weren't like, mildly rude. They were all really religious, so mm-hmm. I'm sure they were rude, but not, like... Not, I don't know, like just more like judgy as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, so if it was rude, it was like, you're you're not allowed to smoke in my house. Please exit. Yeah, you know, like so. It's like that's not. It's not. It's just judgy. And like my my uh, uncle married a woman who smoked, and she asked for a deck of cards, and my grandma was like. There are no cards in my house. There will never be cards in my house. I don't gamble. We don't bowl. We don't whatever it is. No, we don't. I mean, we don't We don't eat sugar. We don't. We've never had anything to drink. Like, she yeah. never had a cup of coffee. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. No, but super holy rollers. So, mm-hmm. yeah, mildly rude. Just 
so it Jesus in. up. Yeah. See, Are you? Is this from some what personal experience, no, Jason? From, that you're trying to bring? Do you want me to pull the curtain <laughs> completely back? It, it's no, from, no, not till from, the end. It's from oh, yeah, not till the end. Yeah, it's from a. I get it from a, a website, mm. so I didn't even make it up. It's not coming from our refrigerator. Right. It's like but how to uh, start my, conversation at a party, that's, cocktail party. That's kind exactly of thing. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> my my grandmother's very similar. Uh, she's, it's my only grandparent, but she's, she's very similar, very judgy, Mm -hmm. you know, Christian, you know, like, you know, very religious. So I don't know if it could, it could come across rude. It really could, but it's just who she is. I mean, what the hell? I had the, uh, major fortune to know my great grandmother as well. (gasps) And, Mm. um, uh, my dad's mom, uh, wonderful lady, fun. Um, suffered a horrible end of life with Lou Gehrig's. Oh, God. Um, Sorry. And uh, uh, my mom's mom, she passed away while I was out here. Um, And I I spent a lot of time with her, but she wasn't real judgy either. She was mostly a rebel, Hmm. you know, back in her day. Nice. So I kind of got along with her a bit. Uh, But my my great-grandma was like a four-foot-eight spitfire little elf. (laughs) <laughs> gorgeous <laughs> just hunched over and just <laughs> shuffled along white hair her name was Maida Maida that's, yes. that's an old last name too. Trumbull you know yes. Maida Trumbull oh, she boy. drove this gigantic blue Cadillac nice. oh my god that's great does she, she have red she, lipstick <laughs> <laughs> no but she looked through the the top of the steering wheel <laughs> and the dashboard that was her yeah Probably yeah. pinned up against it, Tim. All beautiful people. So one last question. Did you, uh, you walked away uh, for uh, an audition. Did you get the audition? I did not. Damn it. Yeah. What was it for again? I just don't. I haven't booked an audition in a while. So whatever it was for, the answer is no. I, I, thought, you did, I thought you did a Good Girls or something like that. Oh, that was the audition. Yeah, probably Good Girls. Oh, yeah, it was. That was the audition. Oh. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. Son of a gun. You thought I went to go shoot it and do it and come back. I went to <laughs> audition for it. And come back. Well, there you Maybe. go. Yeah. That was it. That sucks. <laughs> what a terrible note to end on. Wait, one more question. Like, how t- do you like? No, here we go. Well, let's do it. Here's caviar. We got to pick it up. Then. Like, let's what was it. the? Yeah, one more. Like, what's your favorite taco? <laughs> <laughs> favorite taco. Because there's all kinds. What's your favorite? What's we your don't favorite? eat uh, Mexican food in our house. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're from California. <laughs> yeah. My wife does not eat uh, Chinese you, food or Mexican food. Are you so that's kidding it. me? So we don't have those ever. Is this a lie? Is he? That's no, why when she totally goes out truth. of town for three weeks, yeah. It's oh just my like God. tacos and You don't eat tacos? Pork. I yeah. don't really. Oh, dude, I think I'm allergic Mexican to food. cilantro, mm. and it just, there's something in a flavor that if it happens, like I'm going to just have, have that flavor in my mouth, like for three days. Like oh. I just can't. Oh, wow. mm-hmm. But, and so like we, yeah, w- there was a lot of time if I left. You and Emma went to Chipotle, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. like religiously. Okay. Like, oh yeah, fuck her, she's out of here. Let's go. <laughs> so this what's is your, what I was talking about? What's your favorite? Yeah. Get into a routine. <laughs> yeah, let's go hit Chipotle. <laughs> what's your favorite food then? Oh, we uh, both love a pizza, oh, okay. Italian. That's perfect. Oh, we and I'm a, a big steak lover. Okay. I'm like, not, fr- oh, yeah. hamburgers, like fancy hotel, <clears throat> like four star hamburgers. <sighs> yeah. I, there's nothing better. Do you like them like with bacon and? Yes, like onion Cheese rings and, and the avocado. Yeah. Like just I, yeah. I mean, a really good burger. Yeah. I'm not sure that anything makes me happier. There's a Bobby Flay burger in Vegas. It's um, is it, what's is it? Bobby Flay burger? Just mm-hmm. I think so. Just Bobby Flay's. Bobby's best burger. Bobby's, Bobby's burgers. Yeah, burger any palace. Burger Palace. Oh my God, Burger Palace. <laughs> it's a Burger Palace, you guys. The whole palace. The love I saw. Oh the my love. God, the bur- <laughs> <laughs> you saw me just like light up. Uh, <gasps> ah, burger Palace. <laughs> <laughs> and he does a crunch burger, so he takes oh. like really thin potato chips, oh, and then yum. you mush it. That sounds really wow, good. That's quite good. Delish. Well, there we go. See, that's a great note. There, right? that's now we're better. all hungry. Yes. Yay. <laughs> well, hey, you guys, thank you yeah, so John much for coming thank in. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Really fun. This, was a um, this when is this one? This will be next. Uh, well, uh, fun. Funny question to ask, right? When because they're going to see it when it's released. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> but it uh, it's gonna be uh, for them for their purpose. It'll be next Friday. So for a week <gasps> from t- right. yesterday, yeah, yeah, Valentine's Day, and Dude, it will do how perfect. Uh, it, it, it's on all the podcatchers, um, iTunes, Castbox, all of it, all of them, right and then the video will be on YouTube. Yep, cool. 
Lord. And how many? What's our residual payment? On those? Zero, John. So, mm. Oh, so, yeah, so we no, get the same make, exact we get. Yeah, from we're all here. working together. Now we're gonna <laughs> yeah, make okay. money off of you guys. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God. <laughs> yes, <that>. please, somebody, <laughs> do it. Somebody, yeah. anybody, I'm down. <laughs> yeah. Um, but very, very, very nice show. Yeah. Um, I really appreciate our friendship from yeah. from that Wheels of Fortune yeah. time. Is really, uh, really nice. You're and a good man, Michael Crapple. Hey, buddy, we. Uh, <clears throat> learned early that we were compatible in that fucking dark, <laughs> scary room. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was it was a lot of fun, yeah. and um, I can't wait to do it again. I yeah, can't wait to uh, see all the stuff you guys have coming out, too. I'm yeah. looking forward yeah. to it. And please keep us updated. That's another thing we're trying to do is get updates when stuff does get distribution <clears throat> oh, sure. that we can well, please I will definitely tell people because we're still two. waiting on yeah. a couple of films that mm-hmm. uh, Hal and, uh, and Lauren, yeah. we're waiting on films from them to come out. We want to be able to let people know where they can see them. So. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks.